director action <laughs> growing up in the pacific northwest specifically seattle influenced my pieces is i think first and foremost I feel like my family is a really good representation of the community here. Our foundation is Mexican American or Chicano. I personally identify as Latin A. And then there are other parts of our family that married into Japanese, Filipino. We have so many ethnicities and cultures that we are constantly sharing food. But it's the same with ideas. And because I was surrounded by all these wonderful and beautiful, diverse people, that it was just influence, inspiration, for my art brain to just consume like anime and comics and all these wonderful, beautiful things that when it came to reciprocating that and putting that energy out into the world, you can see all the influences in my work. How I use art to symbolize my personal values, it changes. I like to set myself a goal every year. The year before was immigration rights. The year before that was reproductive rights. In the past, it's been real geared toward social justice. And because of COVID, it's taken all of us to kind of slow down and kind of meditate on what it is to put yourself before giving to others. If you're running around trying to take care of everybody, whether it's your children or the community or your job, and you don't leave anything left for yourself, then how feasible is that going to be for your happiness? Or for me as an artist, if I'm spending my energy trying to take care of everybody else and keep the world from falling, how am I going to have any energy left for myself to do art? The goal this year is making sure that I carve out time for myself and for my personal interests so that I can continue doing the work. My major influence with color is I use color to organize and make sense of the world and because I have an artistic brain it goes all over the place. When I can play with color and reorganize it I'm taking back a little bit of the control that I don't feel just kind of existing having to get up and do stuff I don't want to <laughs> it just it centers me it makes me feel just a little in control what influences my art the most is life around me. because I live in the Pacific Northwest it is absolutely beautiful and we experience all the seasons reds for fall greens for spring and summer grace for winter it all gets channeled into my little brain and I formulate uh, rainbows, colors, images. I feel like I'm like a little incubation station of creativity. And when I get a chance to do art and express myself, it all just kind of comes pouring out. I think for me, the most influential person to keep doing art is my past self, like myself from yesterday, all the way down to the little girl that was drawing on the wall unicorns with her little sister, Claudita. I think that I always strive to be the best artist, like the best version of myself. And because my art is tied so closely with my identity that it's kind of one in the same. I don't know if other artists see themselves as two different beings or if they separate themselves from their art. But for me, it's kind of the same thing. So what really motivates me and makes me want to be like a better artist, a better person to give to my community is really the reciprocation of love that I got when I was younger. You know, we didn't have the nuclear family. We didn't have a mom and a dad. You know, we were raised by our grandparents. And I think a lot of families in Seattle and in public schools, they come from these unconventional households, things that are not what we would think of as the norm and just feeling so like lost and confused and just not knowing what I wanted to do with myself and just going just like swimming down the stream and if there was you know an adult that saw me losing my path they would gently say oh you know do graphic design or do illustration and so I got to be involved in all kinds of wonderful and amazing programs like Link and Urban Artworks and I think that really reinforced the thought that when I became anything that I wanted to make sure that I gave back that I revisited those organizations and show them my thanks by bringing them along with my successes. And I think that a lot of communities of color do that because we have certain challenges that keep us from having an easy path. And so I think it's the each one teach one and when we make it, we want to bring our whole communities. And that's a strong pillar of my, my mission.